Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fencer Prince, with SoundCloud, SoundClick. It's your boy Tone202 coming at you one more again. The Gram, I'll be on the Gram, T T O N E 202. And um, I'm going to talk about the NFL like I did in my last video. Uh, it's not going to be that long, no. But I also want to say that I'm going to take this like on the road. I'm going to walk around and ask people. You know, what do they think about the NBA and the NFL being fixed? But this one is more about the NFL. And I want to hone in on Cam Newton. The controversial Cam Newton came out of a JUCO, went to, what, Florida, you know, and so-called his father, you know, got paid 180 five, six thousand dollars twice you know, by the University of Florida. And, you know, of course, he wins a championship. You know, he's dynamite. And then comes to the NFL and breaks records his first season with 400 yards passing. Or it was some astronomical number. He's just ridiculous doing the whole Superman thing. And he's just been on fire ever since. Even when he loses, he still has the potential to be great. Uh, not happy that they got rid of Steve Smith because they told him he was too old. Steve Smith is, they should have let Steve Smith just grow old with the Panthers because y'all owe him. When the Panthers wasn't doing much, Steve Smith was keeping their name alive. So they should have let that dude just be there at 45. Just, you know, just Steve Smith is, you know, sitting on a sideline somewhere, you know, having a beer <laughs> but he's still part of the roster, you know, pay the guy, you know, whatever, a couple thousand dollars, you know, just, just be there because, like I said, when nobody wanted to even look at the Carolina, Steve Smith was doing his thing anyway. That's just how I feel about it, nonetheless. Uh, so Cam Newton, and the reason why, this is what I, I, I think. I think Cam Newton, they're going to give Cam Newton the, the Super Bowl. And... If, if not this year, next year, but I think this year they're going to give it to him. And because if we're looking at the rhythm of things <clears throat> and what they did, just did with LeBron James in uh, him, you know, with the whole drama that was behind him, him leaving Cleveland and then a couple years later, him going back to Cleveland and then winning the big one. I can see them doing this to Cam Newton. I can see them creating drama. I don't think Cam Newton's going to leave Carolina. But what I'm saying is, how much drama would it create to see Cam Newton actually win after he just lost, especially when he gave the game away, fumbling the ball. And, you know, it was obvious that they wanted Peyton Manning to win. So he threw the game. Cam Newton, you threw the game. That's all that's to it. Everybody knows you did. Uh, you were told to throw the game, so you did. Well, you know, you, you, you're you part of the system, Cam. We all know that. You know, it's not your fault. You know, you got to make that money. You got, you know, you got a family. You know what I'm saying? You've been part of the system ever since you came out of that junior college. You know, and they've been paying you, so you're going to do what they want you to do. You know, so, but I mean, if we're, if we really look at it, I think that Cam Newton, they're going to give him his due. That's what I think is going to happen. They're going to say, okay, Cam, we needed Peyton Manning to go out with a bang. We needed him to go out with a win. You helped us give him that. We're going to go ahead and give you the win this year. And, you know, and be quiet about it. You know, and, you know, go through all the fanfare and everything, but Cam Newton. So that's my prediction. Cam Newton all the way. I don't see anyone who can stand in their way. I, I don't. Not even my favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't see not one team that can come between Cam Newton and the championship except maybe Tom Brady. I mean, I would like to say... <clears throat> I would like to see somebody who hasn't done anything in years and come and do something like Kansas City with Jamal. You know, I'd like to see that. I wouldn't mind seeing, uh, I don't know, Cincinnati get up there. They used to have a really, really fast team. They had the fastest team in the league. And the only way the Pittsburgh Steelers stopped them is we broke the quarterback's leg, literally. 
Uh, but nonetheless, that's when Ojo, that's when Ojo, uh, Seiko or whatever he, you know, uh, whatever his, that run, that uh, wide receiver, you know, uh, he when he was playing, uh, they still have a dynamite receiver who did a flip over a guy to get into the end zone. Forgot what his name is. Uh, you know, you would love to see some. Uh, I mean. A, you just love to see, you, what I like to see is the people you don't think is going to win, win. But then I like to see the people who almost did it all and then come back and then, you know, get their revenge. Like, boom, I did it. Uh, I like Cam as a person, even though he's caught in the web of lies. You know, he, he I mean, he's, I'm going to tell you why I like Cam Newton. I like Cam Newton because Cam Newton likes the fans. He gives the fans things. He gives them what they want. He's like a kid in a candy store. He's a superior athlete that everybody knows he's superior. I mean, you can't stop this dude if he doesn't want you to. He's, he's a better runner than Colin Kaepernick. And just think about that. Just think about what Colin Kaepernick was doing when he got into the league. And Cam Newton can beat Colin Kaepernick at his own game. He is a more solid passer than, who's the best passer in the, what, Drew Brees? Mm, maybe, uh, who's the best passer in the game? Uh, Aaron Rodgers? Tom Brady? He's a better passer than, or, or he's up into the top three. So I would pick Brady, because Brady is ridiculous. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is just when he's on. When he's on point, he's just a god, and and then you uh, of uh, of course you know Drew Brees and uh, yeah, but I would say Cam Newton can stick with any of those guys in a uh, head-on battle. So that's my that's my choice. I'm gonna go with Cam Newton uh, to win the Super Bowl this year. You guys, let me know what you think.